Today's question is about sleep paralysis and uh, this question is actually one of the most common ones I get about this sort of topic and it's this, I have an issue when I'm trying to do the wake induced lucid dreaming technique I achieve I'm trying to sleep, sleep paralysis and my legs feel like they can't move, they feel so uncomfortable and I just have to stretch them um, and that sort of holds me back. Do you have any advice? Now with sleep paralysis, okay, what happens is your body, when it's trying, when your body is trying to go to sleep, your mind needs to make sure that your body's asleep before it paralyzes it. Otherwise, you could end up, you know, getting freaked out. Maybe if you were sleeping in the wild and you, you needed to be able to move to escape a threat, your body needed to make sure that you were asleep. Um, and so what happens is your mind sends a signal to your body um, in the form of a rollover urge or a, an urge to move a part of your body, whether it's your leg, your arm, whatever the case is, your body sends a signal, a really powerful urge to move. If you ignore that signal and don't move, what happens is you enter sleep paralysis with your mind still active and conscious, meaning you enter a lucid dream directly, meaning that you, ha you have a wild. So the urge to actually move, right, when you're laying there and you have this really powerful urge to move or scratch your leg or whatever, that is actually, you know, you're seconds away from having a, a wake induced lucid dream. You're really close to having a lucid dream. All you need to do is ignore the urge that your mind is sending to your body. And the urge can come in a few ways. So here are the sort of rollover urges or the different types of urges that you can get, all of which you need to ignore if you want to enter a wild. Okay, so the first one is the rollover urge. Now this will happen very quickly, or it could build up over time. It really depends. Um, so you could suddenly decide that you need to turn over because you're supposedly uncomfortable, and it can feel like you're uncomfortable, or you can, in your mind, you can tell yourself that you're, you know, laying badly, or you're laying on your arm wrong, or something like that. The chances are that if you set your body position up before you try this properly you're not lying in, in, in any wrong position, you're not lying wrong, you're not damaging anything. Um, you might feel uncomfortable, but that's really just this urge that we talked about. This is just your mind trying to work out if you're asleep or not. So that's the first one, you'll get a strong rollover urge. Um, the second one that you'll probably experience is the urge to move your legs or arms. And this can be mistaken as the rollover urge, um, because really they're the same thing. Um, but most of us, if we're trying to ignore the rollover urge, um, will give way to the urge to move a leg or an arm, but it's the same thing, okay, it's the same message that your mind is trying to send to your body, so you need to ignore that as well. Um, and then finally, you've got the, you know, the micro end of this, which is trying to move your fingers or whatever. Um, generally speaking, okay, to enter sleep paralysis, you don't want to move anything. You shouldn't move, okay? You can you can still breathe, obviously, um, and you can breathe in what, whichever way feels natural to you, but you mustn't move. If you move, it's sort of like you're resetting the clock and you have to start all over again. So, and, and just to clear this up, by the way, what happens is this. You go to sleep here. You spend maybe a, a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes relaxing yourself. And then you'll get to the point here where you'll start to experience things like the rollover urge or the urge to touch your leg, move your leg, move your arm, whatever. Um, you'll start to experience those here. Then if you ignore those and wait another 10 to 20 minutes, what happens is you enter sleep paralysis here. Once you've entered sleep paralysis, you're seconds away, minutes even, away from having a lucid dream. All you need to do is just make sure you don't move, you don't freak out, and then you'll just enter a lucid dream and it will all be fine. You know, if you, many people report seeing like a strange figure when they're entering sleep paralysis, known as the sleep paralysis demon, um, really this is just a hallucination and it's just part of your dream, which is manifesting. So yeah, you will see things and they might appear to be scary, but they're, they're not real. They're just part of your dream, which you're forming. But if you wake yourself up and you get freaked out in the middle of this process, then you go right back to square one and you need to start all over again and the whole thing can take hours. So really all you need to do is just relax, don't move, enter sleep paralysis naturally without freaking out 
and then once you st start being unable to move and start even seeing things you're then very close to having a lucid dream so let me know what you think about this i'd love to hear your experiences in the description in the comments i mean and i'll see you next